And there we have the buddy burner. It's doing a good job and it's burning well. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make a little buddy burner for your Altoids tin stove that I showed you how to make in our last video using a mini Altoids tin. Stay tuned. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how I pack all of this together into the large Altoids tin. Fits pretty well. I think you'll like it. To make this project, you're going to need a few items. First of all, you need a piece of cardboard. This is the corrugated type, of course. It's got the holes in it. And this one's 10 and 5 8 inches long or 29.9 centimeters if you use that measuring system. This is actually just the flap off of an Amazon box. Then you want to measure for your little Altoids tin. And what you're going to need is you're going to need one of these little mini tins. And you want to make sure that the cardboard isn't any higher than the top of this lip so that you're able to actually close the lid when it's done. So as you can see, I have marked three lines here. And all we're going to do is take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut each one of those out. Now you do want to be careful and try to get these as straight as possible uh, when you make your lines. So use a straight edge and just follow your lines very, very carefully because you want it to make sure that it fits inside the box with the lid closed without it sticking up any. That's very important. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the little box and we're going to start with one of our pieces of cardboard and it's pretty easy. You just want to go all the way around the inside. Just like this, trying to keep it as tight as you can. Okay, once you get the one done, take your second piece and start where that one ended and continue the process. And there you have it. That's what it looks like when it's all put in there. And yes, it does close just right. So it's gonna work perfectly. Next, you want to get some of this gulf wax. This is paraffin, or you can use candle wax. That will work as well. And then you need to melt this down. So wax or paraffin is flammable, and so you need to have a double boiler. What I have here is just an old aluminum pot that I bought at the secondhand store, and I have a large tomato can, and I've already melted down the wax inside, and so it is sitting there, and it's just being warmed on a very small bit of coals. Now for this next part, you definitely want to wear some gloves because this can is very hot. And so we're going to pick it up and I'm going to grab a good hold of it, just like this. And then what I want to do is I want to hold this in my left hand because I'm right handed. And I want to use this pour spout and I want to very carefully soak it in there. Now, do remember that there are some cracks, some slots at the back of where this hinge is. And so you want to make sure that you don't overfill your little tin. It will leak out if you do. It's not a big problem, but it can get on, on your uh, whatever you're cooking over. And of course, you can see when you get it pretty well poured in there, pour out a little bit if you get a little too much. And you give that a little while, let that soak in. And then you may want to go ahead, after it soaks into the cardboard, and you may want to go ahead and pour a little bit more. Now, it's very important that you don't get too much. You do not want to fill this with wax all the way to the top. And the reason you want to do that is because it won't act as a wick. It makes it very, very hard to light if you do that. So you want it to soak in and you want there to be, to, you want there to be a little bit of space at the top where you can light it easily. Okay, so let's put the stove together and uh, show you how the buddy burner works. Does it work? Go ahead. Turn that one. And two sides. There you go. All right, make sure that that's nice and sturdy. And of course, you all have seen this if you've watched my previous video. And if you haven't, I'll put the link to it up here where you can see it. Okay, so to light this, what we want to do is go ahead and open it, and we want to set it inside. Now, what's nice about having this lid is you can turn it whichever way the prevailing wind direction is coming from and provides a little bit of a windscreen. So we're going to put it in like this because we got wind coming from this direction. All right, now that's what it looks like. It sits down inside. All right, then we strike the match. Get that going good. Want to cup your hand over the course, give it a chance to catch. 
Once that's going well, then you want to stick it in here and put it right where it can catch the flame, where it can start the buddy burner going. Now this might take you a little bit of practice, and of course you have to protect it from the wind. But eventually, and I like to just lay the paper match in there, eventually it will catch and then it will start burning. And you have to let the little buddy burner get a chance to actually build some strength. Because uh, it's not going to all catch at once, it takes time for it to spread around. But it will. So you just kind of wait a little bit and protect it from the wind while it builds in strength. So once you get it to sufficient strength where you feel like the flame is high enough, you can go ahead and set your water on there. And of course it will also help hold the heat in with the cup on top. And there we have the buddy burner. It's doing a good job and it's burning well. And if you do it right, there should be enough paraffin in there for several warm-ups. But it's great for an emergency cup of hot chocolate or something, just a warm drink. If you're out in the middle of the winter and you have an emergency and you can't find any fuel, you can always use your little buddy burner. And you can see we're getting some good bubbles in there. And uh, it's getting pretty hot. Looking down here, we've got a full burn on our little buddy burner. So when your drink is hot enough and you feel like you're ready to take it off, of course be careful, these can be very warm, but just take a stick and close the lid. And just like that it extinguishes the flame and saves your paraffin wax for the next time. Something to note, if you do get too much paraffin wax inside of your tin, you're going to get it down inside of the bottom of your larger Altoids tin. And that's not really a problem. You can always wipe it out later or you can just leave it in there and it'll act as an extra preservative and just help your fire burn a little bit longer the next time you actually use twigs in it as well. So what I like to do, take a small bundle of split down fat wood and I put some one inch Gorilla Tape around it. Not a lot because I don't want to make it really big and around but just, just a little bit. And of course that's an extra fire starter. So that's a good thing to have. Then I also have these matches out of an MRE designed for damp climates. And again, I just cut off one little side here to make it fit better. So when you have all of this together, take, of course, all the pieces to the stove and you'll fit those in first, just like this. So you fit them in there. Take our buddy burner, put it in next and it goes just like that. Then we could put in our fat wood and the matches go right beside it. And there's actually a little extra room here for something else. So you can figure out if you want to put something there or not. And then close it up and we have our stove. It's all in one nice little convenient package. Now, it's going to get you a little sooty. So do keep that in mind. Uh, but that's true with any stove. And uh, you can find some little pouches that will fit these really well. And uh, we'll keep the dirt off. Or you could just wrap it in a napkin or put it in a Ziploc. And that would work as well. Some additional information about this little buddy burner made from a mini Altoids tin. While you can boil water with it, it's going to take a long time because of the surface area. It's not a great big stove and again it's a small flame. Uh, you could raise it up perhaps on a couple of sticks or a couple of rocks inside the Altoids tin, the larger tin, and that'll put it a little closer to your boiling pot. But again, this is for emergencies. This is for warming up water. Uh, you can you know, get it as I showed you to where it has bubbles. That took probably about six to eight minutes. So it will work. So just remember, you're not gonna do major cooking on this. Uh, it will do a good job for what it's made to do. And I hope you like this project. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll find our Patreon link. This is where you can donate to financially support the channel. And you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. And a big thank you to everybody that's been doing so. You'll also find our spring link. This is where you can buy great Waypoint Survival branded merchandise. You'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up for great survival and bushcraft training classes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time.